What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here for another round of Ratchet and Clank versus Jack and Daxter. Now this is odd, I don't usually do a second round of these kind of things, these death battle predictions, but after seeing the character analysis and seeing what they are and aren't including, I, I've made a better conclusion. Uh, my opinion is still the same, I still think Jack and Daxter are going to win, but the reasoning why is different. Now, I saw that they decided to use the eco skills and eco powers from the Lost Frontier, which is good, because Ratchet and Clank have more games, so they automatically have more weapons and gear to their disposal by default. So it's good that Jack and Daxter are getting their extra games too. I mean, they are canon after all, just because they're not made by Naughty Dog. Kind of like the Crash Bandicoot series, like Wrath of Cortex, Twin Sanity, they're both canon, even though they're not made by the same developers of the original Trinity, Naughty Dog. So, why do I think Jack and Daxter are going to win? Well, for starters, uh, I have done some more research of these two characters on my own since last time. Last time was sort of like a brief analysis from what I already know. But after going into deeper research, I'm even more convinced that uh, Jack and Daxter will win. Because there is the fact that Ratchet does rely heavily on Clank and his weapons. Uh, Ratchet can do decently by himself, I guess, with his wrenches. And he, it has been stated in Death Battle that he does have hand-to-hand -hand combat. He, he does know hand-to-hand -hand stuff. He's been trained before. He's part of the Rangers, you know. Uh, but mostly we see him with weapons. And without weapons, he's just swinging around a wrench. Jack is a beast without his weapons. Like, his weapons add on to his beastliness, but his most of it comes from his transformations, Dark and Light Jack. Which, by the way, Dark Jack, I found out, actually is completely invulnerable. Like, at, at first I assumed, like, there was a move Dark Jack had that could turn him temporarily inv invincible, and he couldn't use any other Dark Eco moves while doing that. But no, the invincibility isn't a dark eco move. Dark Jack is just invincible by default, apparently. Which I did not know last time, but now I do, which is interesting. So, that will probably play a huge factor. The fact that Dark Jack is indeed invincible. But that is, again, that is a no limits fallacy. I mean, if Ratchet were to shoot Jack, Dark Jack with his antimatter gun, that would bypass durability because it's antimatter. All the science fiction nerds know how deadly antimatter is. <laughs> antimatter is not good. Not good at all. Uh, but it could be reflected by Jack because Jack can actually reflect uh, projectiles by spinning. Since they're including stuff from The Lost Frontier that is also featured in The Lost Frontier, he can reje uh, reject, reflect perf perfectiles. Reject perfectiles. He can reflect projectiles by spinning. <laughs> and again, since this is Lost Frontier that they're including, we're also probably going to see Dark Dexter as well. So, I don't know, just all these factors, Dark Dexter, Dark Jack, the Dark Eco forms being completely invulnerable to damage, I don't know about Dark Dexter, I don't know, I didn't care about Lost Frontier, it's not... It's not the best Jack game, let's just say that. <laughs> ah. Anyways... So, there's just the fact that Jack has, like, all these kind of hacks. Like, he does have time stop, which Clank is immune to, but Ratchet is not. Uh, Ratchet, uh, Jack has time stop. He can slow down time or completely stop it, whichever one. He has force fields. He has invisibility. He has teleportation, which, by the way, he can actually go through force fields with this teleportation. So, that could bypass some of Ratchet's stuff, I guess. And I do not know if this is true or not. Don't quote me on this. But uh, I did hear from other sor another source, like in the comments of my last video, that negative charges uh, affect or disable Ratchet's armor. I'm not sure how true that is. I have not seen anything like that in myself. That was just such an odd out there statement that I'm like, they couldn't have made that up, would they? Because I am so confused. Like, if that's true, then dark just Dark Jack's presence alone will like nullify Ratchet's armor. So. It's a guaranteed win for Jack that way, but if that's not true, then I totally get it, because I, I have never heard that before. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere, and it didn't seem like it would be made up or anything, because I don't I don't think there are any Jack or Ratchet wankers out there. I don't think anyone cares about these characters to the extent of Son Goku and Superman. Like, I know people love these characters. I mean, they're childhood favorites. Uh, Jack is one of my childhood favorites, and I'm really enjoying Ratchet so far from what I've played recently really enjoying it actually and um like wow it's addicting and, and um they're just not on the like large extent of son goku and superman like oh goku is universal oh superman has infinite power they're not to they're not loved to the or i'd say obsessed over to the level where they'd be wanked like those two characters so 
that negative charge disabling Ratchet's armor. I don't know how true that is. I don't I don't think it is, but if it is, then it's a guaranteed win for Jack. So I that is, this is just why I think Jack wins. He's more versatile. He can handle situations better without weapons. He's less reliable on his sidekick than Ratchet is. So even if Daxter goes out, Jack can still hold his own very easily. Unlike Ratchet, where if Clank goes out, Ratchet loses a lot of things like extra mobility because uh, uh, Clank has the helicopter head thingy. But Ratchet's arsenal is what he needs. Without it, he Ratchet needs his arsenal and Clank. He barely has any feats like of his own own physical strength, unlike Jack. So I do think it'll come down to Jack because he has more attributes that benefit him in the fight, like being able to re reflect projectiles, his invisibility, his shields, his invulnerability, his regeneration, which uh, Ratchet does have healing too with the, with uh, nanotech, so I, I don't know which one's going to win out there, uh, like Jack's regeneration or Ratchet's nanotech. So it's 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 gonna be interesting to see. So I I still think it could go. I still think it could go either. Blah, blah, blah. I still think it could go either way. But I'm still leaning way more towards Jack than Ratchet. And that's who I think is going to win the death battle.